Hi, let's understand what singletons are. Basically, singletons are classes for which you can create only one instance. Although singleton pattern isn't the best pattern out there, it really depends on the use case. It can be a great shortcut for many cases. Instead of diving right in on the implementation, let's take an example, a Flutter example. Let's say you have a scaffold as a root widget, which contains a column of three widgets. Now one of these widgets has a row which contains three widgets and one of these widgets has a child widget. Do you see how complex a flutter widget tree can get? Now consider you made an API call in the scaffold and you want to use this data in widget 1 and widget 7. Let's keep it simple for now. In normal cases, to send data from scaffold to widget 1 you just need to pass the data as a parameter to widget 1. Ok, fairly simple. But to send the same data to widget 7, you first need to send it to widget 2, then from widget 2, you need to send it to widget 5, and then finally from widget 5 to widget 7. It's still doable for this example, but imagine you have a huge widget tree with hundreds of widgets. How messed up will that become? Also. What about making the changes in widget 7 and being able to see those changes in widget 1? That will be a nightmare of callback functions. Okay, so let's create a singleton class which is in a completely separate space from our widget tree. Once the scaffold has completed the API call and fetched the data, it will create a new instance of the singleton class and store the data in it. Now, we wanted this data in widget 1, right? So widget 1 can directly fetch this data from the singleton class. Widget 7 can also use this data directly. Remember I told you about how only one instance of a singleton class can be created. But what will happen if the widget 7 tries to create another instance of this singleton class? In that case, the singleton class will not create a new instance but return the instance that was created by scaffold. Hence, the instances are common across all the calling widgets and thus the data in it is also common to all of them. Now, if widget 7 was to change the data in the instance of singleton class, the widget 1 will also get the new data. So no more callbacks. In the next video, we'll see how to implement a singleton class in Dart. Thank you.